Hello. Hello. Yeah, hi. This is Sam. I'm calling from Healthcare Support. How are you doing today? I'm okay. How are you? I'm good. Thanks for asking. So actually, the reason of my call, most of people are not getting benefits for the year. So that's why we are calling you just to make sure you are not missing any benefits. That's final expense over you. So how old are you, by the way? What is your age? Seventy-nine. Okay, sir, that's perfect. So I do believe you don't have any serious health problem like cancer or heart problem, right? Well, I have syphilis, gonorrhea, chlamydia, herpes, genital warts, testicular cancer, HIV, and I have a reptile dysfunction. Okay, so right now I have senior supervisor with me, so just give me a one second, okay? Okay, I look forward to speaking with the senior socialist. Hello? Hello? Yeah, hi, this is Mark. I am senior supervisor. How are you today? I'm okay. How are you? I'm good. This call is about final expense and we are here to show you new options. So you are 79 years old, right? Yes! Okay, so you don't have any serious health problem like cancer or heart problem, right? Well, I have syphilis, gonorrhea, chlamydia, herpes, genital warts, testicular cancer, HIV, and I have a reptile dysfunction. Okay, so who is your beneficiary who take care of yourself? It'll be my nephew Isaac. I'm glad his father Abraham did not kill him. Okay, your nephew is your beneficiary, right? Yes. Okay. What is your first name? My first name is Robert. Okay. So what is your last name? Grinnell. Okay. So what is your home zip code? Four eight one two six. Four eight one two six is right? Yes. Okay. Okay, sir. Hello, can you hear me? Yes. Okay. So right now, I'm going to transfer this call to my final expense agent to show you new benefits about final expense. Even your number is federal, federal state. Do not call this. You might be on, okay? I look forward to speaking with the final expense anal master. Yes, sir. So, okay. Right now I'm going to transfer this call to my, to my final expense agent to show you new options about final expense. Even your number is federal, state. Do not call this. You might be on, okay? Yes. I look forward to speaking with the final expense anal master. Okay, sir. I'm connecting your call to my final expense agent. Stay with me, okay? Okay. Can you hear me okay? Yes. 
Awesome. So my name is Fisher. I'll be the licensed agent helping you out today now. You were looking to get your life insurance set up, is that correct? Yes. All right, got it. Um, and what was your main concern with getting it set up, sir? Was it, you know, take care of funeral final expenses or are you trying to leave behind some money for some loved ones? I want to have enough money so I can be buried instead of cremated. And I want my tombstone to say, I told you I was sick. Okay, got it. Makes, makes a whole lot of sense, sir. I completely understand. And you are in the state of Michigan, correct? Yes. Awesome. And so I'm a licensed broker in the state of Michigan. Um, I actually work with all the top rated companies. So we're going to be able to ensure you are receiving the best coverage with the best rate. Now, just to be upfront and honest with you, sir, every company is going to have to verify two things. First one being your social, just to verify your medical history. Make sure you're 100% honest with me on the phone today. Now, they're also going to have to verify your banking information, that just being routing and account number. To verify you do transact U.S. funds as well as have an active bank account. Now, are either one of those going to be a problem verifying over the phone today, sir? No! All right, perfect. Got it. And are you working full time right now or are you retired? No, I retarded over 10 years ago. Oh, wow. That is awesome, sir. Um, got it. And are you on Social Security income? Yes. All right. And is that being deposited into your bank account like most people or do they put that on your direct express card? I guess my bank account. You said you guessed your bank account? Yes, you can put it on my bank account. Got it. All right. Perfect. And do you handle all your own banking, sir? Yes, I've been making my own decisions ever since I fired my caseworker, Anita Bath, and ever since I fired my lawyer, Ivana Tinkle. Oh, are you still there? Hello? Hello? Hi, sir. I think we got disconnected there. Can you hear me okay? Yes! Awesome. Now, sir, I wasn't able to hear too well when you got uh, transferred to me. What is going to be your first and last name? My first name is Robert, and my last name is Grinnell. All right, and can you spell that last name for me, sir? G is in golf, R is in Romeo, I is in India, N is in November, N is in November, E is in Echo, L is in Lima, L is in Lima. Got it. Awesome. Robert Grinnell. And then, real quick, uh, what is your date of birth, Mr. Robert? I was born... A poor child, Christmas Day, year of our Lord, 1942. When I was born, the Battle of Stalingrad was raging in Russia, and it was Franklin Roosevelt's third term in office. Wow, that is a lot of information, sir. That is awesome. Yes, I was oh. born December 25, 1942. My mother said I was a gift to the world in the middle of a world war. Wow, that's awesome. Did you serve in the military, sir? I uh, was uh, in uh, Nam in 68 during the Tet Offensive. Unfortunately, there was a small incident. My lieutenant wanted me to go fight Charlie, but I didn't feel like fighting Charlie, so I threw a grenade in his tent. And after that, I was court-martialed and dishonorably discharged. Is that right? Yes. Oh wow. And so was that? Was that all? The, that was all, the only backlash you got. Was it dishonorable, or did they send you to the brig? Well, I spent some uh, time in the brig, and that's how I was a had some time to be able to read history. Oh wow. 
Got it. And were you in the Army or the Marine Corps? Oh, I was in the Army. Got it. Got it. All right. That is a hell of a hell of a story, sir. Now, um, real quick. Uh, the way this works, Mr. Robert, it is actually very simple. Like I was saying, I'm a licensed broker in the state of Michigan. Uh, my job, it is a little bit different from the sales reps who may be sent out to you. I'm actually on the medical side of things. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask you about five medical questions. And depending on how you answer those, it's going to give us a good idea of which companies will approve you and then which ones will decline you. Does that make sense? Yes. Perfect. And once we do pull up some options for you, we're going to look to see which company is actually offering you the best rate. At that point, we'll go ahead and submit an application, see if we can get you approved for the coverage. Um, unfortunately, we won't be able to commit to anything just today because before you can buy insurance, you do have to get approved for it first, okay? Okay. Got it. Oh, someone's knocking on the door. Let me get to the door. All right. Okay, I'm looking through the peephole. And someone's showing me a DEA badge. And now someone's showing me an FBI badge. And now someone's showing me a warrant saying they want to look at my crystal meth lab. I'm afraid I'm going to have to go. Sorry. This is Jake from Discover Card Services. Due to the tragic impact of the economy, you are now qualified for a complete debt elimination. This is a limited time offer. To get yourself enrolled, please press 1 to speak to a live representative now. Please hold while you are being transferred.